Do you know what are the PVT corners in VLSI? Do you know how your input files can become bulky due to the PVT corner variations? Do you know the PVT corners and RC corners are interrelated? Let's start our journey to know all the answers. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer stream. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the uh, below topics. We will cover the basic CMOS layout and point out the basic EMOS versus NMOS fundamental difference. Then we will do a quick recap of the semiconductor CMOS process. Next, we will do a short and sweet introduction to the CMOS process variation. Then we will become familiar with the process corners, also known as the FUL corners. Next to it, we will show you a common graphical representation of the process corners. Next, we will talk about the FUL and BUL corner terminologies that are most frequently used in VLSI. Next, we will deep dive into the detailed nomenclature of the FUL corners. Next, we will talk about the process corner variation. Finally, at the end, we will summarize the entire discussion. So, we are done with this particular slide. Let's move on. CMOS layout a quick tour. Here this slide is to build the connectivity of the entire theory that we are going to discuss today. So we are starting from the very basic level of the CMOS layout. Now it contains a NMOS and a PMOS. Here goes our N well and inside it we have a P select. Then we have the diffusion layer. For the NMOS we have the N select and inside it we have the diffusion layer. For the PMOS, we create the source and drain contacts. Similarly, for the NSELECT, we introduce the source and drain contacts for the NMOS. Then we create the poly gate to connect them. Next, we will connect source and drain of the PMOS and NMOS. This goes to VDD and this goes to ground. And from here, we will take the output. Input will be in the poly. So, this is the basic CMOS layout. And the reason why I have shown you that here the process corners mostly depend upon two terms one belonging to NMOS and another belonging to the PMOS. However, at the very basic level, when you are asked in interview, you may ask this question what was the basic difference of NMOS versus PMOS? I'll come to the details. Here, let us go through the graphical representation. Now, generally, we make the area of the PMOS twice the NMOS area. We'll come to the reasons in the next slide. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. PMOS versus NMOS, the fundamental difference. Mobility of electron is twice as compared to the hole in PMOS. On resistance of the NMOS is half of PMOS. Consequently, to balance out the same channel resistance and mobility, PMOS is made twice larger in size with respect to the NMOS. A CMOS contains this balanced NMOS and PMOS pair. Topping here, I'll tell one thing that for the process corner, we will be mostly focusing on the speed. So the corner variation or the process variation here will be focusing on the speed of the NMOS and PMOS. Before doing the variation, we are doing the balancing at the very bottom here. If we do not do the balancing for the same dimension of PMOS is slower than the NMOS by birth. We are mitigating this by making the double size of the PMOS with respect to the NMOS. However, PMOS circuits have following advantages over NMOS. This is a few good things for you to know. PMOS technology is highly controllable. It is low cost process. It has good yield and high noise immunity. If not, CMOS, NMOS based ICs can be smaller for the same complexity and silicon area as compared to its CMOS counterpart. So folks, with the layout and this particular slide, that means the previous slide and this slide, we have made the basic ground clearance of the PMOS versus NMOS difference. And we have balanced out the path defect of NMOS versus PMOS with respect to the speed. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on to the next slide. Semiconductor CMOS process, we will be doing a quick recap. You already know about the CMOS process. We are going through a quick recap so that once we talk about the process variation, this image will be there in front of your mind. This process happens in a cyclic manner for multiple steps. So we'll start with the deposition. Then we do the photoresistive coating. Then we expose the mask with the UV light. Then we do the developing, then we do the etching and then we do the ion implantation. And at this stage, the threshold voltage or the speed is impacted. So this is a very important process step for you to remember. 
Next, we do the stripping of the water resist. And the thing goes on and on, on and on in a cyclic manner for further layers. As I have shown you in the CMOS layout, right? Different parts are created separately. All these parts which appeared separately in the animated format, which you have already shown, that will be done through the process steps moving in a cyclic manner. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. CMOS process variation. Parameters of a semiconductor fabrication are generally statistically distributed. That is mean, standard deviation, etc. You might be familiar with all these statistical terms. The variable process parameter list includes, we refer it with the capital P, threshold voltage of NMOS or PMOS. As I have mentioned already that an implantation has an impact here. Get, get oxide thickness, T ox, poly line width, metal width, insulation, oxide thickness. All these process parameter will have impact and goes under the process that is the bold letter P. Variable operating condition include operating voltage or die voltage that is V. Here V is a bold V and the operating temperature that is a bold T within the range of minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. So these are the P, V and T. These three things are varied. Here we will be focusing on all of them and you will see the variations. The crucial factor here is to understand is the process because the temperature and voltage these are values they can be varied very easily. For process you have to know the details which already I have displayed in this slide and you can connect back to the previous slides with the layout and the semiconductor process and all the stuff that I have already spoken. So done with this particular slide, let's move on. Process corners, which also known as FEOL corners. The term corner refers to an imaginary core box that ensures specific performance of the circuits at each of its corners. Each corner, that is the extreme limits, specify some sort of performance boundary condition for the design under consideration. We'll show in the graphics in upcoming slides. Process corners represent the extremes of silicon fabrication process parameter variation for a fabricated circuit. Mixed name corners like fast slow or slow fast are referred as Q corners. When the parameters of a transistor are set in such a way that the transistor operates fast, then it is known as the fast corner. A single circuit will perform differently in each of the process corners. A single process corner may slow slightly different performance for a given circuit from one wafer lot to the another wafer lot. Now, this is absolute process variation because when we standardize a process, however, once we move from one wafer batch to the another wafer batch, there might become variation in the semiconductor fabrication process. The testing of the circuit performance at each corner is termed as characterization. This word is used frequently with standard cells. So you might hear about that standard cell characterization. So characterization is related to this particular point. Two letter designation that is TTFFSS etc. point to N channel MOSFET corner and P channel MOSFET corner for a CMOS structure respectively. Two letter designation TTFFSS points to N channel MOSFET, NMOS corner and P channel MOSFET that is PMOS corner for a CMOS structure respectively. We are done with this particular slide so let's move on. Process corner, the graphical representation. In last slide, we have talked about a geometrical representation where all the corners we will find. Now, here in this slide, I'll show you. Here in X axis, we have the NMOS speed, and in Y axis, we have the PMOS speed. All the slow NMOS are lying on this vertical line where X is constant and Y is varying, and all the fast NMOS are lying in this line where X is constant and Y is varying. Similarly, the slow PMOS line where Y is constant and X is varying is this one and the fast PMOS are lying in this line where the Y is constant and X is varying. This is a Cartesian geometry where we have all the lines and the boundaries we have drawn. Now in actual when we have corners are of a parallelogram. So here is our parallelogram. This corner is slow, slow. So you can see both slows are cutting there and here it is fast, fast. So you can see near to it, both the fast lines are cutting together. And this is slow, fast. So first is NMOS and the second is PMOS. You can see the lines are there. It's very near to this pass of PMOS, slow of NMOS. So it is SF. And here it is FS where we have the fast NMOS and slow PMOS. You can see the lines are also close. So this is a very easy graphical representation. And of this parallelogram where the diagonals cut each other, 
or intersect each other we have the typical typical corner that is tt lying there so i have not drawn the diagonals however in imagination you can draw them and you can see at the cut point of the two diagonals lies the tt this is the corner representation and you can well understand the extremities from this particular graphics this SF and the FS are called cute corners. You can understand why. So that's all with this particular slide. Let us move on to the next slide. Corner terminologies in VLSI. So we have two terminologies. First one is FEOL corners and the other one is BOL corners. Now already in the last episode, I have talked about the FEOL and BOL processes. In case you have not watched, please go ahead and watch it from the playlist. The FUL corners is FF, SS, TT, FS and SF. We have already shown this in the previous slide and in the graphics. BUL corners are C host, P based, PC host, RC based, RC host. These I have already discussed in the RC corners episode. In case you have not watched, please go ahead and watch that episode. So these are two type of terminologies in VLSI. First set is called the FUL corners. In today's episode, we are discussing about this. In another episode, we have discussed about the BUL corners, which are called RC corners. So FUL corners are process corners and BUL corners are the RC corners. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Common FUL corner name. So here we'll go through the common FUL corner nomenclature. Here we are drawing a table. Here we'll go the name in the leftmost column. And in the first column, there will be the NMOS and PMOS. So first is FF. So here NMOS is first and PMOS is first. So first F comes from NMOS and second F comes from PMOS. And we have SS. So slow. TT. Typical. Typical. And we have FS that is fast and slow. And we have SF that is slow and fast. So all these abbreviation points to the speed of the NMOS and PMOS of a balanced CMOS. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. FUL corners, detailed nomenclature. In last slide, we have shown you the most common nomenclature that is used. However, there can be more detailed nomenclature somewhere you may find in the VLSI industry. Here, let us get us familiar in advance. NMOS can be so typical fast corresponding to S, T and F. PMOS can be so typical fast that is S, T, F. Temperature can be hot, typical and cold corresponding to S, T and F respectively. VDD can be high, typical, low, corresponding to F, E and S, respectively. Elaborate process corner levels may include NMOS, EMOS, temperature, VDD. All of them may be included in the name. TTTT means typical NMOS, typical PMOS, room temperature, nominal supply. SSSS means low NMOS, low PMOS, hot temperature, low supply. FSSS means fast NMOS, low PMOS, hot temperature, low supply. So with the mapping provided in the first four bullets, you can construct many as such elaborate process corner levels. We are done with this particular slide. Let's move on. Process corner variation. Here. We will give a typical prototype of variation in this particular slide. There will be no exact values given here for the figure of merit. However, the structure of this table remains same for different figure of merits. Without any further delay, let us go through. Here are the columns. And first, in this case, VDD is fixed. That is the voltage. That is V is fixed. Here, temperature is minus 40 then 0, then 27, then 80, then 125. And here we are varying the process that is FF and all the figure of merits will be listed in the table. As I have mentioned, we are not mentioning any value. Here the purpose of this slide is to make you familiar what kind of table you will expect in different kind of data sheets. TT, here goes the figure of merits and here goes the SS then goes the figure of merits. So here I have just shown you the FF, TT and SS. In actual data sheet, you may have elaborate or maybe variation or maybe some of them or one of them. It depends upon what data sheet you are getting. This is a typical table, what you can expect in data sheet of maybe an IP or something which you are getting from a vendor and the data sheet is coming to you with all the process variation details there, you will expect such table. Now, again, we will do some variation here. Here we are keeping the process fixed. Minus 40 temperature we are varying in the first row. 
This is same as the previous slide and here in the first column we will vary the voltage that is V. 1.63 and for that we will expect different figure of merits or particular thing. Next we have another VDD and here goes the figure of merits. We have another VDD variation and we will expect the figure of merits. So these are the two tables you can expect in a data sheet. The previous example that is the previous slide and this slide in which one where the voltage was fixed, process was varied and the temperature was varied and here the process is fixed and the voltage and the temperature is varied. So for the PVT one is kept fixed and other two are varied in a particular table 2D table like this. Now you are quite ready to interpret the different figure of merits coming into the data sheet from your vendor from you are getting maybe IP or something else but done with this particular slide so let's move on to the next slide real corners FUL and BUL combined so here I have kept this slide specifically for you because when you go into the actual IP distribution what you get as a standard cell maybe you will go there and see there are combines corner where the FUL and BUL are combined corners so names will be like that and that time you may become confused so in advance I am clearing your confusion here so here our nomenclature, this is a process corner, FF 1.2 volt that is VDD and 125C and next one is SS, the VDD is 1.05 and minus 40 is temperature. Next we have the typical typical and uh, we have the VDD is 1.05 and the temperature is minus 40. Now for each of these process corner, you may have FUL corner. So these are the FUL corners name, the process corner name also have the alias FUL. Now the BUL or the RC corners under each can be P based C votes, RC based RC votes. Similarly, others will have the same thing. Now you can expect this kind of variation or permutation and combination in actual data sheets. So don't get scared once you have this. So you are now quite ready to face the data sheets where all these things are written. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Summary. Process corners are visualized through imaginary 2D parallelogram. I have shown in the graphic slide. Each corner resides at each of the vertices, only the typical corner resides at the junction points of the diagonals. Process corners are also referred to as the FUL corners as per the semiconductor fabrication process. And this was the reason why I have shown you the CMOS layout because the process corner will impact the FUL which is creating the layout of the basic semiconductor structures. Not only process but also voltage and temperature are included in the real applied corners. Variation of specific figure of merit of any design under consideration are observed across the permutation and combination of P, V and T. This permutation and combination can get complex with BUL that is RC corners when they are taken into consideration. So that's all the summary and we are done with this slide. So let's move on. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today.